Hello friends, uh, I am Parwes and this is our 17th video in PyQt5 GUI programming. Uh, in the last video we have covered widget positioning in PyQt5. Uh, today we are going to uh, cover uh, layouts in uh, PyQt5. Uh, we are going to cover uh, horizontal box layout, uh, vertical box layout and also we are going to cover uh, uh, group boxes in PyQt5. Uh, now let's get started. Uh, the first thing you need, you should make a new uh, Python file. I call it uh, layouts, like this. Uh, now, like previous videos, I copy my window uh, code and paste in my layout. Okay. Um, now, if you run this, you will see that we have a simple mm, window. Now, I want to bring some changes to this uh, window. The first thing, I want to change the title. Uh, this is uh, PyQt5 Layouts. And also, I want to change the width to uh, 300 and the height to 100. If I run this, you can see that we will have a a 3 by 300 by 100 uh, window <coughs> okay uh, now we are going to define our method our in here uh, diff uh, I call it uh, horizontal layout okay before this I need some imports uh, in here uh, the first import I need a uh, queue dialog I need a queue push button uh, I need a queue uh, message box and also I need a queue vertical v box layout uh, queue h box layout and also queue group box we need dialog push button queue message box v box layout h box layout and queue group box uh, uh, the important thing you need, we don't, in this video, we are not going to use Q main window. We are going to use Q dialog. Okay. <coughs> now, in here, uh, the first thing you need, you should uh, make a group box, uh, self dot, uh, I call it uh, group box, um, Q group box, and one it give it uh, I give what is your favorite uh, favorite sport <coughs> like this okay now I want to make my horizontal layout H box layout Q H box layout <coughs> and now we are going to make uh, three push buttons. The first one is button one. Q push button. Uh, I give it football. The and now we are going to add our button one to our horizontal box layout. H box layout dot add widget button one. Uh, now we are going to make our button 2 Q push button uh, I give it uh, cricket and self now I want to add this in my horizontal box layout dot add widget button 2 uh, the third and last button is button 3 Q push button uh, I give it uh, tennis and self. Okay. Now I want to add this uh, button to my horizontal box layout. Add widget button three, like this. Okay. And uh, the last thing you need, you should uh, set layout to your group box. Uh, we are going to set our uh, horizontal box layout in our group box. For this you can write self uh, dot uh, group box 
dot sorry dot set layout and give the edge um, box layout like this. Now at the top in this section, uh, the first thing you need uh, and here you should call your method in here function or method self dot horizontal layout like this after that make a ver mm, yeah after that make a vertical box layout call it v box uh two v box layout <coughs> now we are going to add our group box to the v box v box dot add widgets uh, we are going to add our group box and now we are going to uh, set our vbox layout self dot set layout uh, vbox like this ok uh, let me uh, bring this in here Now you can see the complete code. Uh, let me define it. We are we we imported some uh, libraries. Uh, we imported dialog, push button, uh, message box, vertical box layout, edge box layout, and also group box. Uh, <coughs> we have changed our class window. We are inheriting from the Q dialog, and also we changed the width and height. In this section, we define a new method. Uh, we we made a group box. Uh, what's your favorite sport? Also, we made a horizontal box layout. Uh, we have made uh, three buttons: button one, button two, button three. And at the end, we uh, set uh, our edge box layout, our group box. Uh, at the top, we call our method. We make a vbox layout. Also, we have we add our uh, uh, group box to our vbox layout. After that, we set our layout, and this is the show function. Now, if I run this, you can see that uh, I'm receiving this. What is your favorite sport? Uh, right now, these uh, buttons. Are not functional and now we are going to add some func functionality to this button uh, for this we are defining some methods in here uh, for the first button diff button 1 clicked make a queue message box dot information uh, self uh, give it football uh, yes I like football okay now I copy this and paste it two times more for my button 2 and button 3 uh, like this uh, make it button 2 uh, change this to cricket. Yes, I like cricket. And now add another one. Change this to tennis. And also we are changing this to button three. Yes, I like tennis. Okay. Now at the top in this section, first of all, uh, take your button one button one dot uh, clicked dot connect cell dot button one clicked uh, okay take your button two dot uh, clicked dot connect 
cell dot uh, button to clicked. Now for your button tree, button tree dot uh, clicked dot connect cell dot button tree clicked. Now we have completed our simple application. Uh, these are the codes. Now if I run this, okay, <coughs> this is our simple application, PyQt5 layout. If I click on football, you can see I am receiving a message box, yes, I like football. If I click on cricket, yes, I like cricket. And if I click on tennis, yes, I like tennis. Uh, okay, thank you guys. This was our 17th video. If you have any question, please let me know. And also, uh, for the further videos, please like the video and also please subscribe my channel.